There we go. It's low damage. Uh, you you see 7,400 damage, but it's really good because it has set up um, one of your charged electricity ball things. Get another hit, and you're gonna get an easy 10,000 damage. So it makes up for the low damage he did at first, because you get high damage later. And sometimes it meaty blows, sometimes it doesn't, but you still get the... As long as you get the electricity ball out, it's worth it. Because you can go for resets like I did just then, you can go for setups and wake up. The opponent meteor blows, just make sure you do the quirk one and you have your electricity ball. It's really orbs out, make sure you're ready for your resets, use your red attack, know when you can get extended meterless damage. So this high damage combos, regular mode. And easily combo into your plus ultra. There we go. I messed up the combo, but you're gonna get 18,000 or something. Like that. Now that we're done with his buttons, we can get into Denki's combos. So, combo wise, Denki is a bit of a situational monster. He has to do different combos depending on how the opponent is. But nonetheless, a basic bread and butter combo that you're going to be doing with Denki most of the time is two hits, it's armor move, it's a tilt quirk 2. Oops, I didn't do the last hit. There we go. It's low damage, uh, you, you see 7,400 damage, but it's really good because it has set up um, one of your charged electricity ball things. So that's two hits, into armor move, into tilt quirk 2 dash cancel, armor move, tilt quirk 2, into quirk 1. <clears throat> um, yeah, so it's a little damage, but it gets one of the balls out. If you leave out the, um, uh, the quirk 1 at the end, you can actually go into a reset after the quirk 2. If the opponent recovers, just attack again, and then you get to go in for a full combo afterwards as a proper reset, and it'll do full damage afterwards. Because they recovered, so the combo has been fully reset, damage is reset. And yeah, it's a really good tool, you can use it for resets. A lot of the time I like going for setups, but the reset is also really good, and I... Yeah, if the setups don't seem to be working with my opponent, I usually go for the reset just to get a lot of damage. Because if you get, like, a, a reset into a combo, that's a lot of damage, like, really quick. You can get an easy, like, it'd probably be, like, 18, 20,000 damage. Oh my goodness, what? If you don't mess up. But yeah, you can do more uh, extended combos than that, but I find that's a really good way of catching your opponent in, in the air, and then that's going to do an easy 20,000 damage just because you caught them with the recovery reset. Okay, so now, there's two ways that Denki can have even more damaging extended combos, and that is if you have two of his electricity balls on the screen, and if you do two hits into Tilt Quark 2, into Quark 1 again, it will stun the opponent. And then you can go into the regular combo from there. So I have two out, two attacks, into Tilt Quark 2, into Quark 1, and back into this again. And then that did a lot more damage that time, 10,000 damage. So this is where the first time that combo that I showed before, the 7,500 damage one, is worth it because you've gotten a ball out. And if you do another ball, and then another quirk one ball, then if you get another hit, then you're gonna get an easy 10,000 damage. So it makes up for the low damage he did at first, because you get high damage later. And you get to set up another ball from the extended one. Um, also, if he has the charged quirk one active, it doesn't matter how many are on the screen, you can do two hits into it, and it'll be an automatic combo starter. So say if I have just one over there, and I've held the button down, and I've got my charged quirk one, I can do two hits into quirk one, and then 
a cool combo starter. Oh goodness. And sometimes it meaty blows, sometimes it doesn't, but you still get the... As long as you get the electricity ball out, it's worth it. Because you can go for resets like I did just then, you can go for setups and wake up. The opponent meteor blows, just make sure you do the quirk one and you have your electricity ball. It's really important to Kaminari, just make sure you have it out. It can be anywhere, it can be used for a setup or a reset, just make sure it's there. It can be used to extend combos even. And obviously, with this like grounded combo is the best way he's going to go into his plus ultra one. Because that does a lot of damage. And it didn't cost any uh, meteor except for the plus ultra one, so there was no dash cancels or anything. Um, so once you have his charged quirk one, you get a lot of damage, even if you use it at the end of your combo. Actually, no you don't, never mind. Yeah, so you're always going to want to use it at the start, because that's when it'll keep your opponent stunned on the ground. And you can get easy, easy damage that way. Okay, as I was talking about before, Kaminari is a bit of a reset monster. So in the air, if I do two hits into armor move, into um, tilt quirk two, and if I've done a combo, so I'm a bit in the air, I can just mash the attack button and it'll, it almost guarantees a reset if the opponent recovers. There's no frames for them to be able to do an armor move or anything, so if you time it right, it's like a proper reset. Oh my goodness. And yeah, you have to be a bit in the air so that you both don't land. And you can go into whatever. Try and get a wall slide set up. Or something. So basically you can just be a real nuisance in the air. Do his large work too, but yeah, you can really keep the opponent in the air for a long time after you do his tilt work too. It's a, it's a really rude way of resetting. Um, also, you can end your combo in his quirk two, and then go for a reset. And get some damage that way. Um, that wasn't a connected combo, I dropped it somehow. But that's a sneaky way of getting extra damage from your combos, because your opponent isn't probably going to expect a red attack randomly in the middle. If I cannot consistently mess up my combos. And if you press it fast enough, you'll be in the air, and then maybe you'll get a wolf flat or whatever. So yeah, he's really good at resets and setting up the opponent to get in a worse situation than they were in the first place. So yeah, but you're always going to be doing armor attack into tilt quirk 2 because that does a lot of damage. Armor attack into tilt quirk 2. You can either end it by going into the ball or by trying to go into a reset. By just attacking again and then going for the reset oh, and then going for the ball. Oh, see look, that even comboed there because he was beside the wall. So yeah, you always want to make sure you're thinking about whether you want to go for the setups with the quirk 1, for the reset using the tilt quirk 2, and what's going to be more worthwhile. And like, try and feel out your opponent, see what they're falling for. Are they falling for the reset? Because keep doing resets then. Do they, the setups not working? Do the reset. The setups are working well, I'll keep doing the setups. And, oh, I have two bulls out, so now I can go for a super easy combo. And do tons of damage really easily, even meterlessly if I wanted to. Um, if he has the charged quirk one, he can get some decent damage. Oopsie. For no dash cancels, and I could have put a, an orb out there as well. And then, you know, you're just always setting up thinking about your resets, thinking about how to get the most damage and what's your opponent falling for. And all of this is just on top of his, like, like you're running around and zoning and calling out your Bakugo support or your Jiro support or whatever you have and doing your red attack while it hits because it's 
some really good red attack, and then going in for your combos, your resets, or whatever you decide to do. He's just a really oppressive character, and you always have to be thinking about what you're doing, because to make sure you maximize whatever you're doing. Like here, I can go in for an extended combo by doing that, because I know I was going to knock him into the, into the beam. He's just really strong. And he's a really, like, thoughtful, like, setup character, which is not what I expected with Kaminari. <laughs> but he's really fun, and I've played it quite a few ranked sets with him, and he definitely makes an impression on the opponent, because he's just so strong. Yeah, he has resets, damage, setups, and he can combo off of his plus ultra attack. Um, Disclaimer, I kind of suck at it. I haven't practiced it that much because I don't really use it that much online, but I'll try here. Oops. Oh, whoa, whoa, what was that frame drop? But basically, if you call out a support like Bakugo or Jiro at the same time. Oh, I nearly got it there. You can easily combo into your plus ultra. There we go. I messed up the combo, but you're gonna get 18,000 or something. Damage. It's pretty good, and make sure you have a support for that. And I'm sorry to cut this short. I think he's really complicated, but I think I covered it really quickly. You have to make sure you have your orbs out, make sure you're ready for your resets, use your red attack, know when you can get extended meterless damage. So this high damage combos, make your orb out. If you want, make sure you charge your orb so that you can get combos easily that way. Do lots of damage. Um, if you have your charged orb, then that's when you can get the most damage out of your plus ultra too. And here we go. And guys, I'm sorry, but I think. Oh no, 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 no. I have more to say, I have more to say. There we go, 16,000, pretty easy. Big chunk of damage. Um, I almost forgot about how his combo changed when he's in the charged mode, which is a whole extra part of Kaminari. So if I do two hits, no, 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 three hits, into his Tilt Quark 2, I can dash cancel, armor move, Tilt Quark 2, Quark 2, and I've gotten an easy 11,000 damage. If I want to do a plus ultra, I'll do three hits, into his um, Tilt Quark 2, and then plus ultra. And then I'm in yay mode, you make sure you can protect yourself with supports or whatever. Because it's not fun getting full comboed by your opponent. Usually I wait for them to hit me, like hit, hit me with one attack and then call out my support, just to make sure they don't actually block it and then I end up getting hit by a full combo anyways. But yeah, when he's in yay mode, you basically... Oh, oops. You can essentially do the same thing. Do this. Quirk to dash cancel. Into these again. Make sure you have them on the screen, or if you want to just go for full damage, end in Quirk 2. So I'll show you again. Two hits. Quirk 1. Oh, didn't work. Oh, and I'm in yay mode. Let me just charge up again. Okay, so two hits. Into. Okay, that's not that consistent, apparently. A lot of the time it stuns the opponent. Maybe I have to have it charged? Oh yeah, there we go. Into Tilt Quark 2. And then, oh god, you get I should have before, but yeah. Three attacks. Into Tilt Quark 2, dash cancel, and then do the same combo you did in the regular mode. Oh, that's not even full damage. And there you go, you can get an easy 12,000 damage into a Meteor Blow, and hopefully that gives you time to go into Yay mode, and they can't punish you. No guarantees though, you're in there for quite a while. 
that was for one dash cancel, practically 12,000 damage, that's really good. So when you're in the charge mode, in any level of charge, like whether he has the blue charge, whether he's really close or whatever, he can get that out. Failing to charge up anymore. But yeah, basically no matter what charge, you'll be able to get that high damage combo. The more charged up you are, the more damage it's going to do, because the more hits your attack do. When Come on. What the hell? And now I'm yeted. But yeah, easy 12,000. Sometimes it can even go to 15,000, the more charged he is. And if you go into a plus ultra combo, you can get easily plus easily like 18,000 damage. And yes, now I think I'm done talking about Kaminari's combos. If you have your, his charged thing, you can get above average damage, including going into a reset or a setup. Easy damage into um, uh, setups or resets in this game are really strong. If you do the reset, you're easily going to get 20,000 damage. I mean, maybe not 20,000, but like. Uh, yeah, I'd say 20,000. If you get the proper reset and then go into this in the air, and then go into some like crazy damage from the air, you're easily going to get like about 20,000 damage. If you uh, do a full combo, or you can go into a setup, which allows you to go for easier full combos to do more damage. Because you can do more extensions on the ground. Essentially, he's just really good. You just have to choose what you do, plan your attack, and then just go crazy. When you're in the in the charged mode, you can go crazy, do lots of block pressure because you have so many attacks in every button. Yeah, he's really strong in the yay mode. His block pressure is actually you get out of charged mode. His block pressure is actually really good at um, Kaminara, because he has his safe quirk 1. So you can basically end anything in that, and then you're safe. So I can do 3 hits, into this, into this, into quirk 1, and I was safe the whole time. Obviously there's some gaps in there, if you want to sidestep or do whatever, but that's where you can put in different things at different times. If I do attack into this, they can't sidestep, because the charge afterwards will punish the sidestep. So we... Yeah, so a lot of the time I actually just do this, into that, and then I'm safe, and if they try to sidestep after the first hit or something, or I can do two hits into this, and then they sidestep, and then the charge punishes them for trying to attack me afterwards. He's just really good at doing pressure on block, and just make sure you end in the quirk one if they are blocking the whole time, and that'll keep you safe. But essentially guys, I'm sorry, but that is my entire Denki Kaminari breakdown. He's really fun to play as. I think he might actually be one of my mains. I didn't expect him to be so complex and technical. But he's really fun to play with all of his setups, his quirk one orbs, his extended combos that you get from his setups, his resets that can catch the opponent so many times online. I'm not joking you. Like people just for some reason choose to recover, or then they choose to not recover, and then you can get extended things. But yeah, it's he, it's really strong. He's very good at controlling what the opponent wants to do, and controlling the screen with his massive, if you set up the balls right, he can make these massive triangles on the screen, and go into full combos if the opponent decides to be an idiot and walk into them. And yeah, that's Kaminari, good damage, good screen control, good zoning, and he has resets, like, what is there not to love? He can combo off his plus ultra, he has a good red attack, literally every about him, thing about him is amazing, I don't understand why people say he's weak. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys!